Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in and in this video you're going to learn about antifreeze and why antifreeze causes water pumps to go bad, why they fail and did you guys know that antifreeze is one of the most one of the most common liquids in vehicle that is being overlooked ignored until there is a problem with the water water pump there's a problem with overheating head gasket uh, heater core is being blocked radiator is blocked all of those things you know what i mean your uh, engine oil cooler your transmission cooler is not working or leaking and it's one reason because of bad antifreeze so one of the things as you can see in this example i'm using make sure your level is always in between there's a high and low mark I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up yeah right there is the one mark and there's one at the bottom well you're not gonna see with the camera so bad antifreeze will cause seal as an example on this water pump will corrode when it goes bad it becomes corrosive and once it becomes corrosive it starts corroding seals and the water pumps it starts corroding uh internals of the engine cylinder block cylinders sensors no longer working properly because you have a buildup you have a layer of corrosion and that layer of corrosion uh, would not give the computers on the engine proper reading correct temperature so instead of your fan kicking in at let's say 200 degrees now it's going to turn on at 250 degrees because you have a layer of buildup on the inside because of the bad antifreeze so remember it's one of the liquids that has been overlooked and ignored until there is a problem. And in this video, you're going to learn how to prevent your, your water pump from failing prematurely. In this video, you're going to learn how to check your antifreeze, making sure it is okay. Antifreeze is one of the liquids in a car, vehicle, truck, SUV, whatever you name it, that goes bad over time. It's just the nature of the fluids, all the fluids, you know what I mean? Some go bad sooner than others, and there is long life, there is a short life. So, antifreeze is one of the things that uh, removes the heat from the cylinder walls on the engine. And today I'm going to show you how to test your antifreeze at home. There is a very uh, inexpensive way to test your antifreeze you only need there's a test strips and i want to show you guys these test strips and how it works actually with the test it's a simple test strips very inexpensive and it comes so this is the test strips in this bottle there is a 70 pieces in this bottle there is a link in my description and for these test strips you can get the whole bottle depends on your application or you can get there's only few if you have a few cars that you can test this is a great uh, tool or great actually there is a tool to test your antifreeze on a regular basis especially if you're a it's worth having it if you're a business owner a big bottle like that 70 pieces or if you're just a homeowner you have maybe a large number of cars because you can test the test you can test this test strip your coolant and know if it's good or bad you can prevent damage that's being caused by antifreeze to your engine to your coolant components to your water pump just with this test strip because to replace the water pump it's a very expensive with the test strips you don't need this tool here because test strip will test your freezing point will test your uh, boiling over and will test your ph level see if it's corrosive or not so one test strip will replace this and replace many other tools that you can use to test your antifreeze you're probably wondering how accurate is the test strip well the test strip is very accurate you know what i mean uh because test strips are being used in medical fields for the past 20 30 years doctors rely on the test strips you probably want, well if doctors rely on the test strips to test to save people's life then test strip developed by this company and by the way this video is not sponsored by this company or any other companies not all my videos are being sponsored i wish they were but they're not so if it's good if the test strips of course and uh, you know what i mean this test strips not being used in medical field there's other different types of test strips but just to say the test strips are accurate will be very uh wrong way to say test strips will give you a basic understanding of what your antifreeze is condition is 
but if you want to know like details of what the what's in your antifreeze if there is any oil if your head gasket is blown maybe leaking or something is to send it to the lab for analysis that's the best way to find out so let me show you uh, i have a three different i have three different samples of antifreeze uh with these test strips you can test blue color like honda's has red color like toyota has and all the all other color colors like preston that is green or ford gold antifreeze which is in the middle so with this test strips you can test pretty much it says any any antifreeze so what you want to do make sure your your engine is off make sure your radiator is cool to the touch it's not hot because you don't want to burn yourself and if you don't have a radiator cap like it's shown here i took it off it is the radiator cap if you don't know what it looks like some cars now don't have a radiator cap they have just a reservoir for the coolant for the reservoir coolant cap maybe that's what you want to test you know what i mean get a sample from there and or you might have to pull the drain plug on the radiator at the bottom to get a sample of your antifreeze so what you want to do make sure it's not hot remove the cap dip it over for two seconds make sure it's all submerged for two seconds 1001 1002 pull it out shake it off make sure you don't get in your eyes wait 40 seconds compared to the book compared to the colors on the bottle so we're going to wait 40 seconds as you see it's it's already start developing colors and we're going to compare it to a on this 2012 sequoia have 53,000 miles and it's looking that you know we'll see maybe in a couple more years i would have to replace the coolant because the owner's manual says it's good for 10 years or I think uh, 100,000 or 120,000 but I don't see it lasting 120,000. 40 seconds already passed. So let's compare since mine is red to the bottle itself. So let's see which one it aligns more closely. As far as I can see it aligns more like over there is the temperatures you guys can see minus 34 so you have a freeze point and boiling point all in once will tell you so because it's red color so it's about it's more like minus 62 60 percent and it says if it's greater than 60 on a bottle or less than 50 then you should replace your coolant so as you can see it's it's approaching it's approaching it's about 60 percent right now I'm not sure if the camera pink can pick it up towards 100 so if it's 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 almost ready to be replaced at 53,000 and five years old vehicle so at the end of the year i'm going to test again and to see and find out if it's too good or not then the alkaline and it says if it's below below 6.6 6, the second second thing on a test strip, this second sample, then I should go to pH level. So the pH is the green. My green is, let's see, the green is like about 7, 5, and 9, somewhere in between, between 9 and 7, 5. So it's still good. But definitely I'm going to be testing it again and watching it, making sure it's, it's good. So now I'm gonna dip it in the in the factory antifreeze. Wait a couple seconds, and to show you guys the difference, let's wait 40 seconds. So let's compare. This is the factory, and this is from vehicle. As you can see, the color is already. Not sure if the camera can pick it up. Even the green one. It's you can tell that it's lighter color. You can tell the freeze point, the factory one, is a little bit darker. So the colors are not... So there is, as you can see, from the vehicle and the factory coolant. So there is a difference in colors. 
slightly, but there is. Meaning that antifreeze, it is going bad. Five years old. So I'll be checking my antifreeze more often, once a year, every six months. If I see that it's time to replace, I'll replace. I'm not going to wait for the factory recommended. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thumbs up, like, share my videos. All of those questions that you're going to have about antifreeze, about mixing different types of antifreeze, and all of, anything about the antifreeze will be answered in, com in another video that is coming out.